Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, today I am going to be doing, as you can see, obviously, a Season 3 Jungle Zed guide. Um, I love Zed, I think, pretty much uh, in Season 3. He's, um, he's a really great jungler. Um, he's just so mobile. Uh, there's a lot of good things that I, I like about him. Uh, and I'll, I'll go over the pros and cons, but uh, first I'll just introduce you guys to Zed. Uh, so Zed is an AD assassin. And uh, and these are his abilities. So Contempt of the Week is uh, Zed's basic attacks against targets below 50% health deal 8% of the target's max health as bonus magic, magic damage. Uh, this can only affect um, this can, this effect can only occur once every 10 seconds on the same target. Otherwise, it's just be OP as shit. Um, Zed and his shadow both gain uh, or both throw their spinning blades forward, dealing damage to any targets uh, they pass through. Energy cost with this move gets lower as you upgrade it. Uh, Living Shadow, Zed's shadow dashes forward, remaining in place for 4 seconds and mimicking his spells he casts. Zed can reactivate to swap places with the shadow. Shadow Slash, Zed and his shadows uh, spins their blades, creating a burst of shadow energy. The shadow spins slow. Death Mark, Zed dashes to, uh, to a target champion, projecting a shadow behind them and marking the champion for death. After three seconds, the mark will trigger, dealing percentage of the damage Zed has dealt with them uh, while the mark was active. Um, so the biggest main thing that I really love about Zed is the fact uh, that he does have his shadow, and his shadow does grant vision. Uh, this is probably the biggest perk of Zed because it's like I a lot of the times I go in and it's great for counter jungling because if you go in to check a buff you like if you don't have a ward then you can check with your shadow first uh, which is really nice and on top of that when I play Zed I use Smite McKnight um, because you just get to do obscene amounts of damage uh, you get to screw people over that are trying to heal and uh, I just feel like you have a lot safer gameplay when you um, when you play like that, because you're not just thinking, oh, well, I'll just flash out a bit. Um, and you get a lot of extra DPS, which is really friggin' nice. Uh, now, next thing that I'm going to go on to for Zed will be his ruins. Uh, the ruins I use are pretty typical uh, for any jungler. Uh, I use the armor pen marks, uh, armor seals, and magic resist per level glyphs. Now, the reason for this is that armor pen... Uh, is kind of the late game champ over attack damage and pretty much enough said. Uh, armor seals are given with jungling, magic resist per level another given on an AD champ uh, and I use the health quints. I wouldn't switch these out because Zed would have a really hard time jungling I think uh, if he didn't have this. I mean you might say oh it's only like you know, an extra 78 health, but it makes a big difference at the beginning of the game. Uh, the masteries I use, I do treat them pretty much similar to an AD carry, uh, because that's essentially what he is, is he's just all about blowing people's faces apart. Uh, now I use Summoner's Wrath, uh, this makes your Ignite a little extra powerful, and uh, if you wanted to, you could use Exhaust. Um, it's that's one of the things that I really love about Zed is just the fact that uh, you don't have to take Flash, and I feel like that just makes him, you know what I mean, like a really high tier jungler because who, you know, what I mean? like everybody takes Flash in this game pretty much. You know, like 90% of people you see in games are going to be taking Flash. So any champion that has a built-in Flash, it just gets su it's such a huge perk. Uh, now attack speed, self-explanatory, uh, attack damage, same thing. Um, the armor pen, uh, same thing. It's all pretty explanatory. Uh, cooldown reduction, this is nice on his uh, on his shadow and star, his ulti. Um, now lethality, I take lethality and frenzy. Um, and this this can be good if you are getting crit. Um, you, could, you could definitely opt out of them and get brute force and you know, and chuck a point in Butcher or something. Um, or, uh, or you know, Destruction. I wouldn't take Havoc because it's pretty useless because, uh, like, 
basically, if you think about it, and it was the thing that kind of stuck with me, and I was just like, oh, that's true. Um, if you do a thousand damage, you do an extra twenty damage. That's useless. Like that's just whoopty shit. You know what I mean? And that's like after resistances and stuff. It's like, woohoo! You know what I mean? You spend three points, and you get barely any returns out of it. Um, Sunder Executioner is pretty much uh, a must, especially with his passive. Uh, the movement speed I take. Um, now this is only out of combat, but still uh, really nice on Zed, just for moving around quick. Um, Summoner's Insight. Uh, I take this only if I'm gonna take. Uh, you know, like sometimes you can you can take other moves, but um, I don't know. You might not even really have to take this, but it's just he's not gonna use Mana Regen, and uh, so you could you could opt out of this if you wanted to. And maybe invest it in in this if you wanted, but um, uh, this is just kind of my typical uh, setup. So all of the points aren't exactly uh, useful, but at the same time, they're not exactly. Uh, you couldn't put them in too many better spots. I mean, I could take this out um, and put it in brute force. But if you're going to build crit, then this is actually a really strong because uh, you get attack speed. And it might only be for two seconds, but uh, it could land you another crit and just stream off itself. Because um, if you wanted to, uh, getting getting IE is actually pretty pretty good on Zed, just because he's all about burst. Uh, Mastermind, self-explanatory again. That like cooldown reduction on your summoner spells is just awesome. And then Runic Affinity. Uh, is really great for both your red and blue buff. They both make him strong. Uh, blue, blue is good just because you can spam your shit, which is really nice. And uh, improved recall, I always take this because, like, like even at any point in the game, like there's times where you get out by that one second, and uh, and you know what I mean. It might save you from getting shut down. Which is really nice because uh, getting shut like getting shut down gives away a lot of money. Uh, now, finally, spells uh, smite obviously is a given. Um, you could take ignite, you could take teleport, you could take exhaust, and you could take ghost if you want. Uh, you can take flash. Like all of them are viable, but I just I don't take flash because of his shadow, and I prefer to have the extra DPS that you get with ignite. Um, that being said, exhaust would be a viable option just for um, reducing their armor and everything. But uh, he's already got a slow, so I don't necessarily take that. Pretty much for that reason. Um, and teleport could be nice on him. But typically, I prefer taking teleport on people that are really good tower defenders and stuff. Or really good at taking towers down, like really good at backdooring. But um, but you could definitely take teleport on him if you want. But uh, I would say ignite or exhaust is probably your best option. And, and flash is always good. But uh, Zed is all about just ripping someone apart in a matter of seconds. Like you really basically just burst the hell out of anybody. Now onto the items. Um, you are going to be starting with machete and five pots uh, as per usual. Uh, I'm not going to talk about exactly the process of all the items going through, just more so the items that you should be building. Um, but you will get a quick brutalizer, and uh, and then from there, boots. Boots, I would say either Moby boots, uh, boots of swiftness, uh, Merc treads if there's really a ton of CC, but um, I don't know, boots are always situational. I've been taking boots mobility a lot lately just because it's nice to uh, just be able to get around the map really fast. So after that, you're going to build your Bloodthirster. This is pretty much uh, your clutch item right after Blur uh, Brutalizer. And then uh, you finish off your Black Cleaver. So now this puts you up to Boots, Black Cleaver, you've got your Machete. Um, so there's, there's your four items right there. Uh, and then your Machete, you can turn Machete into, um, into Spirit Stone. I don't get... I don't get um, I don't get wriggles on him just because it's not really that good on him. Uh, most of his like the best thing about him is his shadow slash, 
and that's not an auto attack. Uh, so you aren't doing, like you don't build attack speed on him, he doesn't have any attack speed bonuses. So uh, I wouldn't bother with reels on him, to be honest, at all. He's actually quite good. Uh, I usually do end up, at some point, building uh, Spirit of the Elder Lizard, because every time he Shadow Slashes, uh, it gets that true damage off, and on top of it, the damage you do to monsters is increased by 25%. You do not get the 7 health, or the mana regen, but um, but aside from that, it's really good. And, and you could even say that would be your 4 core. Now, after that, uh, Blade of the Rune King is really strong on him um, because of his passive already. And, um, and it's actually getting buffed soon, which is going to be really nice. But the main thing I like it for is that active. Now, I'm not entirely sure, but I think that um, when you use your ulti, the damage you do with Blade of the Ruined King actually gets put, like it gets reflected back on them, which is really nice. But on top of it, you steal their movement speed um, for two seconds, but you steal it for 30%, or, or uh, so you steal 30% for two seconds, which is really nice because it's similar to Malphite's move, uh, where not only are they slowed, but you gain the speed, which is really nice. So that would put you up to your fifth item with Blade of the Ruined King. Um, and then after that, Mob Malmortis, I would say, would be your next go-to item if they've got a good, um, you know, a good person who's good at, like, executing with AP. So, like, you know, say... Say maybe a Kaylee or Karthus or Lux, uh, anybody like that who's just gonna finish you off that does magic damage. But if you didn't go with this, then I would definitely go ahead and grab Guardian Angel. And the reason for that being is that is so likely to get focused. It's uh, it's not even funny how likely he is to get focused, because you basically come in with your shadow and it's basically a big kill me before I rape your whole team uh, move. Because if people are clustered up and you pop your ulti. That Shadow Slash is going to hit everybody, and, uh, and it's going to slow them all, so they they want you dead pretty quickly. So, that's pretty much your setup. So, for an overview, uh, it's Boots, Black Cleaver, Bloodthirster, uh, and then Spirit of the Elder Lizard, which is right here, for any of you that don't know. And then after that, you're going to follow it up with um, Blade of the Rune King, if you don't want Blade of the Rune King for some reason or another, you can get IE or another Thurster. Uh, really works great. Thurster is a crap ton of damage, and IE allows you to do those crits, which is a ton of burst damage, and, um, and it also works well. And then finally, you're going to want one defensive item. Um, Mal Mal Mortis is always good, like from helping you to not get killed. And if you don't want Mal Mal Mortis, then I would definitely recommend a Guardian Angel. So there you go, guys. That's uh, the runes, the spells, everything that you pretty much need to get started playing Zed. And hopefully that helped. I'm going to be doing a part two of gameplay to show you kind of the step by step and the the gameplay, how I play Zed. Um, because if you play him right, he's just got crazy potential. Like I, I see some people, and they're like, "Oh, he's not that great," but. Um, between having that shadow, like, uh, I've noticed that basically anybody that's got basically a built-in flash is just super strong right now because it allows you to take another summoner spell, just making you a monster, really. Like, if you pop out of the woods and you drop your shadow on someone, throw you in into shadow, shadow slash them and ignite them, then it's, it's pretty much kill. And if you throw your ulti in on top of that, it is kill. Uh, unless you're just severely underfed, you know. So, um... Hopefully that helps, and I'll show you guys kind of the walkthrough in part two. Uh, if you like it, please uh, thumbs up, subscribe, all that stuff. I uh, really appreciate that a lot, and I will see you.